What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 159 of Room Tour Project, the first episode of 2019. And this is a series where we show off some of the best gaming setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. We're starting off the year strong, we have some killer ones to offer you guys today. If you see anything you like, I'll have all the gear and hardware listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But let's start off episode 159. First up, we've got Teddy with a nice single monitor setup that has this really sort of like futuristic glow to it. Probably because it's like the, the neon greens, the wallpaper. I don't know, for some reason I always associate like neon green with future stuff. I don't, I don't get it. Probably just me. But anyways, check it out. That is a 34 inch Samsung display. It's the 3440 by 1440p curved panel mounted very nicely. And on each side are the Mackie CR3 50 watt speakers. Down to the peripherals, we have the Razer Black Widow X Chroma keyboard with the Razer Mambo wireless mouse on a Razer Goliathus Chroma mouse pad. You can see he also has a uh, hole drilled in the desk so he can route his cables down there nicely, which is gonna give it more of a like, uh, like a wireless kind of appearance since there's not cables all over. So good job on that. And as for headphones, he has the HyperX Cloud 2 headset, also on the Razer Base Station Chroma. Over to the PC, also having that really nice look to it, fitting in the neon green to, you know, fit in with the rest of his setup. This is the NZXT S340 Elite case, and inside is an Intel i7-6700K CPU with the NZXT Kraken X61 AIO. 32 gigs of HyperX Fury RAM on the Gigabyte G1 Sniper Z170 motherboard with an Asus Strix GTX 1070 vertically mounted. And he also has one of those mini monitors that I showed off before, so we can put down the bottom of the case to check things like the you know, the temps and hard drive capacity, all that stuff, got it down there, which is always a cool addition. Then a peek under the desk, a great job with the cable management, uh, nice and tight under there, looks like some zip ties, maybe keeping the cables up off the ground and prevent them from sagging down, light strip behind, and a little peek to some uh, like shelving units and stuff, got some things on display, just to add some more, you know, character and personality to the room. But all together, I think it's a really nice setup. It's a really great job with cable management all together, whether it's underneath the desk or on top of the desk. So nice and organized. Love the white, black, and green theme he has going on. And the badass Lego Batmobile there. Next up is Red Tray. And you guys always know sometimes I like showing off completely DIY setups that are made from scratch. And this is a great example. And what I even like about this is it's not just the desk that was DIY. It's this whole entire unit, which really makes it unique because it's more than just a desk setup. It's really this whole part of the room, which really makes it just a really cool, like cohesive part. So as you can see, laying it all out from scratch, bare walls, marking everything out, gotta get those measurements down right, and then bam, starting to come to life. Like I said before, it's not just the desk. The desk is made into this whole unit here on this one side of the wall. Love seeing stuff like this, especially when it comes together so nicely, and then bam, the final results looking great. Got the two monitors on the bottom, plus that overhead TV, which fits in perfectly with the way uh, the shelves are made. So checking it out, that overhead TV is from Samsung. It's a 65 inch 4K. Both of those monitors are from Dell, the U2415. They're 1920 by 1200 IPS monitors, but a great job with the alignment and the mounting here. No cables in sight, and they line up absolutely perfectly with a light strip behind to give it some accent. Now before we get into the peripherals, I want to point something out in this shot, you can see it. You can see to the right on the side of the cabinet here is like this little air vent in a controller. It's called the AirPlate T5 cabinet fan because right there inside, he's got some consoles and his PC right in this unit here. So having the active control of the air conditioning in here is going to be great for the temp so it's not getting all stuffy and heated up in there. Uh, for this PC, it's the Corsair 250D Mini ITX case. It's an i7-4771 CPU, Corsair Hydro H100i AIO, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro Series RAM, and an EVGA GTX 770 Superclock graphics cards. But back to his peripherals now, he has the Logitech G613 wireless keyboard with the Logitech Marathon mouse. So no cables here, keeping it all untethered. And for audio, got the Bose 301 bookshelf speakers. So like I said, just a great DIY setup. I just love seeing things like this. And the way it's all measured out nicely where the TV fits perfectly. Really nice job on mounting the monitors underneath and having active control of keeping the PC cool in the cabinet was a great idea. Altogether, great execution. Now we've got Crow Man, and let me get an O oh Man, because this is crazy. I don't care if that sounds corny. This is an insane gaming setup. 
Now this is much more than just two setups based off of one PC as you'll see with that L-shaped desk but it's actually an entire like gaming room. The complete other side of this room is a really awesome entertainment setup. We'll get to it all in a minute. But just take this in, like tons of chroma and RGB and the nano leaf panels going on. Funny enough, every time I would type his name as Chroman, it would autocorrect to chroma. If that doesn't tell you something, I don't know what will. But let's take a deeper look into the desk setup. And starting off um, on the left side there, that is a 49 inch, 144 hertz QLED monitor from Samsung. So much screen real estate. And then on the right side is a Dell 31 and a half inch 8K monitor. So we've got pixels for days here. Custom wallpaper is nice and neon to fit in with the theme. But at the 8K monitor is where he has his primary setup. So for his mouse and keyboard, it's the Corsair K95 Platinum RGB with the Dark Core RGB mouse. And that's on the Corsair MM800 Polaris RGB mouse pad. There is peripherals at the other monitor, but we're just going to focus on this one for now. Now for his audio game, it is definitely some serious stuff. The Sennheiser HD 800S headphones and the Focal Utopia headphones, these are absolutely top of the line. And they're powered by the Shit Audio Yggdrasil and the Ragnarok DAC and Amp. And yes, their company is called S-C-H-I-I-T, pronounced as I said it. And his speakers also on the desktop, as you'll see, is the KEF LS50 wireless. They are also some serious gear. But now we're going to check out the PC, and as you come to expect, this thing is just bonkers as well. It's the Thermaltake Tower 900 Snow Edition case. Inside here is an Intel Core i9-7980XE CPU with the Asus ROG Rampage 11 Extreme motherboard, 128 gigs of the G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM, and four NVIDIA Titan XP graphics cards in four-way SLI, 12 gigs of VRAM each. Wow, all of the cooling is from a thermal take for the pump and the res and some of the fittings and stuff. And the water blocks and rads are from EKWB, so a crazy powerful water-cooled PC with four Titan XPs. So as we hinted at before, on the other side of his room is his entertainment setup. Uh, this is just, you know, no, no big deal. It's a 78-inch 4K TV from Samsung. But if he wants, he can also pull down this 135-inch screen. It's the Elite Screen Starling Tab Tension 2 Cinema Gray 5D. That's a mouthful. And the projector from this is a 4K projector from Sony. So he's literally got it all. The massive TV, the crazy desk setup, the insanely powerful PC, and now a crazy projector setup to play some console games and stuff like that. You see Red Dead, Rocket League, plus all the RGB lighting in the room is biased, so it's going to go to you know just the color theme. We could switch it all up. Man, this is something else. I didn't even go over all the stuff, like the rest of his speakers and the other peripherals, because there's just so much gear here. But one of the most insanely colorful, powerful gaming rooms, probably of the year. Strong leader for best of 2019. And then wrapping it up is gonna be Apex with a single monitor setup. Again, then leaf roller light panels up top with like a, like a buck, a deer head up top mounted, matching with the wallpaper. But we'll take a closer look and check out the details for his signal display. It's from Asus. It's the ROG Swift 34-inch ultrawide, the PG34 8Q. And down to the peripherals, I'm already liking what I'm seeing. This is the Mastrap control keyboard. I've reviewed it before on my channel, made a custom one, but a really great enthusiast-grade keyboard here. Definitely a nice choice. With Logitech G Pro wireless mouse on the Asus Scabbard extended mouse pad, and he also has integrated with that the Logitech PowerPlay wireless mouse pad so he can charge his mouse at the same time. Then for audio on his wooden headset stand is the SteelSeries Arctis Pro Wireless and you saw the amp and DAC integrated underneath his monitor there so you can control it all at an arm's reach. Heading on over to the PC, he said this is a uh, Origin PC Millennium. Not too sure if it's a pre-built or not, but inside is an Intel Core i9-9900K CPU. Got 32 gigs of HyperX Predator RAM on an MSI godlike Z390 motherboard and an Asus Strix RTX 2080 Ti graphics card. So it's a really nice and powerful PC. Looks great as well with a lot of the RGB uh, components and stuff. I don't know too much about Origin, so again, I don't know if this Millennium PC is just the case or if it is a pre-built. 
Either way, it's still pretty damn nice. And taking a look underneath, again, another great job with cable management. So proud of you guys recently. Um, light, little light strip there underneath to give the desk some back low and stuff. And I assume whatever that like backboard is behind his monitor is keeping a lot of the cables um, hidden behind there as well for the nano leaf panels. But yeah, definitely a good job. And altogether, it's a nice simple setup. Orange and blue, a pretty unorthodox color theme, but it looks nice here, especially when you have like the buck wallpaper. Uh, the panels are kind of like in the shape of like horns, and you got the buck mounted up top. I like this one. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 159. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, all the gear and hardware you saw will be listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. One well, random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.